Welcome back to another episode of Real Time with Megan and Varsha. Hey everyone, I hope you're all having an amazing day. Yeah, so we have reached the end of season three, and we want to do one last episode to wrap up season three, where we talk about our journey so far and a little reflection of ourselves. Yeah, and first of all, thank you so much for 2.8k plays. We it's such a huge accomplishment for both of us, and we're so happy and glad you guys are loving our podcast. Yeah, so thank you so much for those who have been there since day one, and thank you to all our new listeners. Make sure to follow our socials because we'll still be active on there. So, I think a week ago we kind of put up a post saying that if you guys wanted to send in some audio messages, uh, you guys could have um, sent us some audio messages just to talk about maybe like what they found interesting on our episode, why they liked our podcast, and you know just a few thoughts about our podcast, and maybe some you know tips for improvement or anything like that. And so a, lot, a few people actually sent in some audio messages. And so again, thank you so much to everyone who sent in audio messages. And we also told you, we also uh, told everyone that we'll be putting it in our last episode. So we're going to be playing, and I'm really excited to hear what everyone has to say about our podcast. Our first recording is actually from Siri. She actually、uh, guested on our podcast、uh, in season three a, a couple weeks ago. So make sure to check that out. So here is her recording. Hey guys, Varsha. This is Siri, and congratulations on wrapping up your third season. I'm so proud of you guys, and wish you all the best for the future. I've listened to most of all your episodes, and has really been one of the major highlights during my quarantine. Thank you so much for providing your listeners, who are also your close friends, with your insightful episodes. I love the fact that you guys want to contribute to the betterment of society and make people feel good while quarantining, as well as just wanting to help people with your episodes. You are not only a successful podcast, but also two amazing human beings that I'm so grateful to have in my life, filling it with positivity and love. Thank you so much, and keep up the good work. And of course, I will always be listening. Oh my God, Siri! Yes, thank you so much for those kind and generous words. We really appreciate you, and we really appreciate your feedback. And thank you for loving our episodes all the time. And we can't wait for you to guest back. Maybe next season you you can come back to our episode and guest again. Yes, thank you so much, Siri. Again, you're like one of the sweetest people I've ever met through our podcast too. So yeah, I mean, I can't wait to talk to you again. So the next audio message is from Como. So Como and Shalini was in one of our episodes, and we talked about our our lives,、um, school, how friendships、um, impacted, and various other topics. And yeah, so this is an audio message from Como. Army Pod is the best podcast I think、um, out there, and it's just so unique in its own way because it is hosted by two high schoolers who are just living a life just like me as a high schooler and are sharing their perspectives to the world. Um, about what it's like to be a high schooler, especially during this time, and、um, that just looks so amazing. I still remember when I was invited as a guest along with Shalini to take part in this podcast, and that was, I think, one of the best experiences I've ever had so far. Because a, I got to do something that's you know new for me, recording a podcast, and I also had to answer amazing questions on colleges, of how college is affecting me during high school, and、uh, future life plans. And just you know, having my voice out there really made me feel confident and welcome to also share my perspective and my ideas, just like how Megan Warsha do. So thank you for that. Yeah. So thank you so much, Kolo, again for your kind words.、Um, we really appreciate it. And honestly, we actually love talking to you. I got to learn more about you and your life, even though I am your best friend. But anyways, yeah. So thank you so much, Komal. <laughs> yeah, I actually, yeah, thank you so much. I actually met you through the podcast, and like, it was really fun talking to you、um, in that episode.、Um, we talked about a lot of things, gave a lot of advice, and I had a really good time. Our next recording is from Sitara, and here's her message. Hey, Megan, Marsha, my favorite thing about your podcast is that you interview different people in different world fields and life experiences. My question for you guys are. What do you want to do more on the podcast? Examples: interviewing or just chatting with each other. And what is your favorite meal and or dessert? Thank you for sending in your message and listening to our episodes. And actually, we have a question. And her question was: first question, why? What? What do you want to do more of on your podcast?、Hmm. Um, I, I think, honestly, yeah. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah, I was gonna say I think I. 
I really like how we brought in so many guests and learn more about them and I think I want to do more about that more bring in more unique guests and um, learn more about their lives and their experiences because I think that those were like the most fun episodes for me so I want to do more of that what about you Varsha Yeah, same. I was going to say the same thing, like exactly like as you said, make the like bring in more guests and unique and maybe you try to find more about their stories, you know, cuz you know, everyone's so really unique and again, I think um today actually we guested on Sudeshna's podcast and she was actually talking about us about our podcast and she was talking to us about our, you know, podcast story and stuff. It was really nice. Um I actually loved that episode that I did with her. Um um on her podcast yeah. again make sure to, also make sure to check out her podcast all time chatter podcast amazing really cool mystery podcast everything is in there but yeah i was just going to say that she also she was also telling us how it was really diverse and again i really appreciate the diversity we have in our podcast cuz everyone is so different there's so many everyone has different jobs and honestly we didn't really think you know these these people like do this as a living you know certain things like the psychic mm-hmm. was really interesting yeah. so oh, yeah God, for yes. sure and yeah yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah and the second part of the question was what is your favorite uh dessert meal and dessert hmm. so i'm guessing meal when she says dessert. like food food and dessert okay yeah i think my favorite dessert is i like ice cream yes um and i also like uh wait d- dessert and food right that's what yeah. she said okay mm-hmm. okay yeah so i guess ice cream is really good i like vanilla and chocolate ice cream yeah. i like cake cake's my favorite mango cheesecake mm-hmm. yes oh wow nice nice very good uh, what about you for me dessert uh would be uh anything chocolate i think like anything chocolate is fine chocolate. that's yeah <laughs> so ba- chocolate ice cream chocolate cake nice. chocolate Ooh. chocolate bars anything like that yeah Yeah, I love chocolate too. Mhm. So the next one is from Sanmi. She also was in one of our episodes. She and Harshini was actually one of our, one in one of our episodes. Hello, I just wanted to say that I really really like your guys' podcast. It's one of my favorite podcasts in fact. And it's just um one of my like, highlights of my day whenever I listen. You guys host such meaningful conversations. It's sometimes just really fun conversations. And um yeah, I get I really just love listening and um I really like the the time that I was a guest on there it was so fun and you guys were so nice and um I, yeah it's great so thank you okay yeah so thank you so much Sanmi yeah for thank your you words okay. yeah thank you so much for sending in your message and we hope you continue listening to our episodes uh our next one is actually a message that I'm going to read out loud and this is from Mia Hi Megan and Marsha, I'm a big fan of your podcast and have been since the beginning. I like la- I like how each episode of yours gets more interesting as it progresses. Anyways, I have a question for you guys. What inspired you to make this podcast and what goals do you have for the- for the future? That's a really good question. To be honest, it's actually all thanks to Mega that this podcast happened because again as I said, I think I said this in a few episodes and a few podcasts that we both guested on that I didn't know what a podcast was until now and Mega just you know texted us saying texted me saying oh do you want to start a podcast i was like yeah sure and then i asked him like what is a podcast like i haven't heard of it yet and as as we did the first episode um you know it like um people like started listening after a few episodes we started listening cuz like i think mega also said this every single episode like when we put our first episode we didn't think anyone would listen cuz it was just like oh it's just right just there like we don't know what's going to happen but as we shared to like different people and stuff more people started listening and they liked it so then we tried to you know make the similar the content uh, different same content on our thing and that's really what really inspired us to make a podcast and also we wanted a voice uh, to be heard so then we started thinking about like oh yeah we can talk about this topic we could talk about you know a uh, various topics that might be important and maybe some people can you know try to get some advice from it so that's when we were like okay yeah you know we can invite guests on right i agree with what varsha said uh when we started this podcast again we didn't know much about it but like we made started making episodes and we um had a really big passion for it so we continued and yeah the second question was what goals do you have for in the future and we touched this uh we actually answered this a little bit in the other question and we said that like, we wanted more guests in our podcast we want to learn more about their life and their experiences and and that's what I want to do I think that's what I have uh 
in mind like i want to bring in more people i want our podcast to of course grow and expand and yeah what about you varsha yeah we were thinking about the you know maybe in the future we can have like a whole set for it and then people could just randomly come in and then just talk to us you know like whoever we want to um you know other people kind of might want to guess but that we were planning to have like a whole studio have like a whole set <laughs> dreams drop out podcast yeah drop out podcast i love this thing i mean they shoot it shot it at their apartment so mm-hmm. it's like a whole just room just for that uh yeah like nothing else like that's it just for yeah. that so yeah. i feel like we 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 are like planning to but you know we'll see you know as time progresses you know we'll, we'll yeah. do something about it but for mm-hmm. sure i want to do that like a yeah. studio just for ourselves and then we can maybe invite people over and they could just talk about us and talk about college and things like that <laughs> we have so much time <laughs> but yeah yeah oh yeah thank you so much mia again for your oh yes thank you so message. much for your message mia okay so the next uh audio message is from from aditi so yeah so she's going to say a few words about it okay hey guys um so i really like your podcast real time make a bar show the episode with tana fraser and uh, her her story with her and the school shooting and everything that was really interesting and was also really uh inspiring her story was very inspiring and um I feel like you guys did a really good job really bringing her her like in her uniqueness out and I feel like uh you guys have done so many interviews that I can make a really big impact on society. So yeah, I'm really proud of you guys and I hope you continue doing this. Continue uh making an impact and continue continue making episodes for real time. Yeah, thank you so much Aditi. Yes, thank you so much. Uh you know, we all want our episodes to have impact on people. So, uh we feel like we're doing our job. <laughs> we're doing we our work is uh our efforts are being paid for. So, our next question our next message is from Varsha, another person named Varsha, and uh her message was my favorite thing about your podcast is how attentive you guys are at posting. You always give us top-notch videos with packed knowledge. Some questions I have for you are do you speak different languages? What do you do in your spare time and what is your favorite movie? Um first of all, thank you so much for uh thank you so much for acknowledging our work. We do put a lot of time and effort in our posting and our videos, so thank you for appreciating that. Um the first question is do you speak different languages? Um no, we actually speak the same languages. I we both speak English and we both speak Malayalam. And yeah. Uh the second question is what do you like doing in your spare time? Uh first of all, podcasting of course. And then honestly, you know, I just like, you know, being with friends. Um uh I like, you know, you know, watching TV, movies with family, uh reading, um oh, I like cooking, baking, or playing with my dog Tyson. What about you, Varsha? Yeah, like Mega said we both speak English and Malayalam. I also know Spanish, limited proficiency in Spanish. Oh yeah, me Spanish. too. Me too. Spanish. Yes, we both do that. We are, we're learning. I, can, I, mean, like, I already finished Spanish, but yeah. Yeah, for me like if people are speaking and if you give me the context, I can understand pretty well. Understand it same. I can like a little bit on I can understand what they're saying. I just need two words and I'll understand the whole mm-hmm. conversation. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so that's third. I know a little bit of Hindi and I know how to read Hindi. I don't know how to speak fluently obviously but i understand it but i can read fully oh really yeah i can nice. read hindi <laughs> yeah so that's just for language and i think the second question was what do i do right in mm-hmm. free yeah. time mm-hmm. okay yeah so yeah like my like i said podcasting is a new hobby that i found guitar i play the guitar uh i draw sometimes i sing when i'm in my free time <laughs> uh <laughs> but now i don't really sing cuz you know school is so busy yeah. so i can't do i only do it when i'm like really stressful or something or i have like time Um, mm-hmm. Left in my day, but it's so mm-hmm. rare that I do singing. Mm-hmm. I did singing before, like last year. I had so much time, so I just like whatever, <laughs> and I put yeah. it everything procrastinated. But yeah, yeah, that's that. And yeah, uh, that's what I do. Yeah. Oh, oh last question. I do biking too. Oh. Go ahead. Go oh on. yes, but biking. Oh yeah. The last question is, what is your favorite movie? This is a hard one <laughs> for oh, me at least. Oh, favorite movie? I don't yeah. have a favorite movie. I honestly like all movies. There's again, as I said, you know. It's like very diverse of diversity yeah. of movies. Um if I say one, um I like the Harry Potter movies, love the Harry mm-hmm. Potter franchise overall. Yeah. I haven't watched the last movie. Hunger Games is really good. I love mm-hmm. Hunger Games. Oh, I actually recently watched The Giver. Giver is pretty good too. 
the uh-huh. movie. The book's actually better though. You should read the book. The book is better. Can. Yeah, I'll yeah. read the book. Read the book if but you yeah, know. I think those are some of my favorites. And I again watched the Malayalam movies. Very good, beautiful. Oh Malayalam yeah, movies. there are a lot. Yeah, there are a lot of good Malayalam movies I watch with my uh, parents, family. Um, exactly. yeah, for me, like honestly, I don't have a favorite movie. Honestly, I like all movies. Like, but like the most movie that. I've watched like repeatedly watched was probably Harry Potter. I've probably watched Harry Potter movies over like 50 times cuz I I have the movies. <laughs> It's amazing. It's yeah, amazing. so like that's probably like the most movie I've watched um repeatedly. Same same. And then now we're just watching K-drama so I guess you can count that as a movie. It's not a movie <laughs> but like it's really long. Yeah. It's like a mar- one hour marathon of K-dramas episodes yeah. about yeah. 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 Question. Yeah, sorry, I forgot. Okay, so the next uh, audio message is from Shalini. I listened to the R&B podcast from the beginning, and I really, really, really love the podcast. I love the anchors, um, host, Marsha and Mega. They're amazing, and they're amazing at what they do. And I also learn ev- something in every episode. Like I meet like new characters, like the guests. Each of them are very, very unique, and they're amazing at what they do. And I learn. Like a new thing every episode, and it's amazing that Barsha and Linda are um, providing that for everyone. So it's an amazing podcast. I really loved it. Yeah. So thank you so much, Shalini. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you so much for those. I'm so glad that I've met you through this podcast, and you were an awesome member to our team. And I hope that next in the summer you'll come back. You'll come again, and I look forward to that. Yeah, and we're also recording an episode with our podcasting team, so stay tuned for that. Yep. Podcasting is a great medium to a real connection with people in the world world of short tweets and likes. I'm sure you will have a lot of memories when you look to this time of your life. That message was well written. I loved it. Yeah, thank you so much. It was yeah, it was a deep deep message and yeah, we will totally be looking back to this time and and uh, there's so many happy memories we made so yeah yeah and the next message i have from my side is hershini she's our number one listener and she also was in one of the episodes with sandy so she's actually one of our number one listener biggest supporter and yeah she's really sweet as well as a person hello so i wanted to say a couple things about real time with makeup version podcast I think it is an amazing podcast that touches on topics that so many people might not be willing to speak about maybe because they're uncomfortable with it or they're too scared to express their opinion and I think that this podcast handles those topics in such a mature and graceful way and I think that Mika and Varsha are going to go really far in their podcasting career they're doing so much and they're using a voice and they're using their platform for good so yeah keep up the good work yeah thank you so much hershini for your kind words yes oh my god i i loved your message yeah you all you gave us support from the beginning and uh, you know we appreciate that so much every time you listen to our episodes you always uh, give us Have feedback. feedback every single episode like i always got hershina i always get one notification every single day every friday when we upload the episode when it gets released at 3 p.m. i always get like a message from you on the same day and i really appreciate it and that's one of the listeners that i value the most to my heart yeah. so yeah thank you so much yeah you, so much. You, you yeah you got you have you we are really really we are really really thankful for you and i hope you know that okay so that concludes our Um, voice message audio- segment voice yeah. message segment so thank you to everyone who sent your messages we are really happy that you guys are listening to our podcast and our podcast actually has impact on you guys and this is this is our motivation to you know keep on going yeah so thank you so much to everyone who sent in voice messages we truly value every single message and yeah keep supporting us or wait, yeah anyway, keep supporting us yeah yeah <laughs> Okay, it's been a while since we've had an episode with just us and we wanted to, you know, let you guys know like what's been going on in our lives and you know maybe say some, you know, funny stories. So, as you guys might know, Mega has a dog and his name is Tyson. And yeah, so every time when I call Mega, she always has something to talk about Tyson. Like 
something happened with the dog. So then I, I was like, okay, what now? What now today? What now? Right? She always has something to say. Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I, I will, sh- I'll share one of the stories that happened, what happened with Tyson. Um, so Tyson, I got Tyson, he, Tyson's a Yorkshire puppy and I got him in uh, July. He was just eight weeks old now. He's almost a dog. He's like 11, he's 11 months right now. And this happened a couple months ago, I think in February, right? So my mom and uh, Tyson were walking down, you know, had going for a walk. And sudden, suddenly he ate, he had a white piece of, he had something white in his mouth, right? And then my mom's like, wait, what is that? Yeah, he took it out. We took that white piece thing out and we're like, okay, my mom's like, it might not be anything. It might just be a piece of paper, right? And then we go, and then she comes home. And then, you know, hours later he has his dinner and then like, well, I'm like studying and doing my own thing. And then my mom suddenly starts like saying like, you know, you called me over and saying like, look at him. Like he's acting like literally he couldn't stand up. Like Tyson couldn't stand up and he was like shaking. He was, um, he was like, uh, how do you say? Like he couldn't, st- he couldn't stand up. He was falling down. He was all like, um, what's the word? Like this, dizzy, uh, um, dizzy, dizzy, dizzy and stuff. So we got so scared. Like we were wondering like, what happened. Like, uh, do we have to call the doctor or anything? And then my mom's like, you know what? He did eat something outside. And then my dad's like, oh, what did he eat? He, he was like, my mom said a white piece of paper. And he's like, hey, that's probably marijuana. <laughs> so <laughs> we're like, oh my God, Tyson, you can, he has a bit of marijuana. And right now he's high. <laughs> Our puppy's high right now. And you know, we, we waited God. for some time to see if he'll get better. Better, but bro like um he was not getting better he was like getting uh he ha- only had a little bit so we didn't know if it'll be you know uh if we needed to take him to the emergency because mm-hmm. right now all the doctors are closed so, like if we needed to take him we had had to go to the emergency um so we waited and we actually called like one of our friends who is a dog expert and like she facetimed us and she said you know he'll probably be fine but you know it was like 12 a.m and i had a um I had a test next day. I had an a push <laughs> test next day to it. But then I stayed up all night just like studying it. But it is like 12 a.m. And then we decided to take him to the hospital. And yeah, he stayed there. Like my mom and dad was at their hospital for at least, you know, at least three or four a.m. They put him there. They injected him with IV. And like my, it was like such a chaotic day because the next day my dad also had a huge presentation. It was like, it was so much things going on. And yeah. And again, he came back and he was all fine because he had IV now. And now literally every time we go outside, we have to make sure there is no like cigarettes or like marijuana um, buds on the floor, which is so annoying. Yeah, so when I need tea, I always got to make it because she always has some tea about her dog. (laughs) It's really crazy. I feel bad. I'm like, like, I've never heard like such a story like this. You're the first person, like a dog owner especially, who someone has a dog. Like yeah. I have friends who have a lot of dogs, but they don't have stories like this. Yeah. This is the first story I've ever heard, which is so crazy. But yeah. yeah. Now my dog is good, right? Dog. Yeah. Now he's fine. As long as he doesn't eat anything else. Hopefully it doesn't happen it. again. But if it does, we'll let you guys up. We'll let yeah. you know. We'll update you guys. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Barsha, you have a uh, interesting story, a flight story. You have a couple flight stories, actually, uh, encounters at the airport and uh, do and other stuff. Do you want to talk about <laughs> some of your stories? Yeah, sure. Um, so I think okay. So to start off, I think this. So we had a. So you know how like in vacation we all go to India and stuff. And again, I we've always. I think Mega also has been wanting to go to India since such a long time. How long has it been? I, we were planning to go last summer, but we couldn't go because of COVID. We couldn't. Same here, yeah. same here. We were going to go last summer, but because of COVID, it kind of, you know, disrupted everything. And mm-hmm. it was actually my last chance to go last summer because we knew that um, 11th grade is going to be hard with college apps and stuff. So we were also planning to go last year. And then after two years, then we'll go back. But now it has, it's almost been two years now because it's been a year since COVID. So it will be two years because yeah. unfortunately. I can't go this year because due to college jobs and you know school mm-hmm. stuff because you need to apply for college so mm-hmm. I've you know my grandparents always ask me like when are you going when are you going and I always tell them like 2022 for sure <laughs> and my, par- my parents aren't like why she's they're asking me like why did you say that I'm like I don't know I'm pretty sure we'll go next year because like you know COVID is actually decreasing over here and also it'll be a little bit less it'll be lighter the low workload will be lighter next year because mm-hmm. you know we'll mm-hmm. know what college we're going to and things like that 
Yeah. But going back to the five story, so it was I think around two two years ago. Like last time I went to India was like two years. I think it was two years ago. Yeah, it was like 2019, I believe 2019, 2018. The summer, actually 2019 summer. Um, or I don't know if it's a year before that. But anyways, who cares about the timeline? It's somewhere there. <laughs> Um, so basically, we were at SFO Airport, and we were waiting to board our like next flight. And you know how like when you're inside the airport and、um, near your gates, you're just cruising around, maybe go shopping, and you know you know Mega right? Yeah. Yeah. Like, you're just yeah. walking here and there, right?、Yeah. It's been so long. It's like after school stress was like summer. Here we go, have fun time, right? Yeah. So basically, what happened was like. We were standing, and it was like I think around afternoon, and we wanted to like you know drink coffee,、um, maybe eat some snacks, right? And so we went to the nearest cafe, and then as we're walking, you know, as we're walking, I see like this tall dude with like a mask on, and he has like blue eyes, right? And there's like a, maybe two other people behind him, but they're not like they're just short people, like they're not like at the same height, right? And so this dude has like, and he looks like a BTS member. He looks like some member from K-pop. He looks Korean、mm-hmm. as well, and I can guarantee he was Korean because I can really tell by his face. <laughs> his face was also really pale. Looks like he has the makeup, and he looks similar to a K-pop member or any member from EXO, whatever. I don't know if it was really from a band, but basically what happened was he looked at me, and I was like, wait a second, like, and then I was going back to my memory. Because at the time I wasn't, I knew what BTS was, I knew the members and stuff, but I wasn't like really like, oh, what are their names? Like I haven't like you know went deep into it, right, to the、mm-hmm. K-pop industry. That time I was like, you know, limited,、um, yeah, limited, you know, was a limited education about Korean <laughs> industry, right? Limited education. Yeah. Now I know so much more because with K-dramas, so yeah, we, I think Mega, you know, too, yeah, right. So、basically, what happened was he has blue hair as well and blue eyes, like a little、yeah. blue shade. Okay. And I was so excited. I was like, "Oh my god!" Like, bro. And then after a few minutes, he basically goes into the cafe, and、yeah. he's also hiding himself. And there's three girls, and they're all Korean. I'm telling you, they had、yeah. cameras, and they were taking like pictures of him. Yeah. And no one else would. No one else knew who this dude was. Uh huh. See, if everyone knew, then they would take a picture, right? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. They'd be like, "Oh, can we take a picture?" But、yeah. not one single person, because I was also waiting. I was like, "No one's going up to him, right?" Yeah, so, yeah. And then I was like, you know, I don't even know who this is either. Yeah. And so these three girls literally took pictures of him from far away through out of the cafe, because he was in the cafe. And then he literally like he's like trying to hide his face, so he went inside and he basically sat in the, in the corner where no one can see him. And it was、yeah. mind blowing because then I was like, okay, then that means that he is some type of star that I, I'm not really sure if I know him or anything because you know he had a mask on.、Uh-huh. And the thing is, it's crazy because you know now we're wearing a mask, but right before、yeah. he already wore one already.、Yeah. So when I think about it, I was like, bro, like. <laughs> but yeah, that's just one story. But it was it was exciting. But I don't know. I don't know how, how, what happened after. After that, we left, and he also left too. And I couldn't really see him. And I asked one of my friends. I'm like, I don't know. I saw some K-pop member.、Yeah. I don't know if it's you know if he does. I mean, I think he is a singer probably because I don't think if he wasn't a singer, why would those girls take a picture of him? Like、mm-hmm. it's like paparazzi, like、yeah. legit. <laughs> so it was it was it was it was exciting. But yeah, that's just one story I had. <laughs> <laughs> Interesting. Oh, only if you you had、uh, K-pop education, education <laughs> then you would probably maybe you, maybe you would recognize you the guy. Probably knew exactly, exactly. But also, I think if he hadn't have a mask on, say、ah, he didn't true, have true. a mask, I think he was protecting his identity. He didn't、Or、want to know. Maybe he's just some. Maybe not even a K-pop. Maybe just like a normal guy. <laughs> maybe he's a model. The thing is. May- oh yeah, model. When the paparazzi took the picture, that's when it made me realize it, like when we think,、mm-hmm. and then that's why I literally like, and I literally w- went with my phone. I was literally <laughs> in front of it, and then I didn't want to make it seem like I'm stalking. Yeah. Like, Keep a distance, right? And my mom's like, "Don't go over there." I'm like, "I'm not going. I need to see his actual face."、Yeah. And I was observing, but I couldn't get any clues because the mask. If it was, I feel he put a mask on because he didn't want anyone to、yeah. know it's him. So it makes sense, you know. It makes、mm-hmm. sense. I don't know if this was BTS. I still always. I don't know, probably not. Yeah,、uh, probably not. Because if it is S- BTS, they always do it, travel in a group. But then in the news, it was saying how they had to travel separately because of the the、uh, fa- the fandom. They're always the sayings, so they're called the sayings. When so basically, I think True Beauty also on the webtoon too. So sayings are fans who are really like toxic. Um, they literally stalk them everywhere. So 
uh, BTS, there was this news where they were traveling separately. I don't know if my sources are wrong, but I heard mm-hmm. it. But now I think they're, because of the concerns, because mm. people are stalking them. Too much mm-hmm. privacy mm-hmm. reasons, but that's mm-hmm. probably one. But yeah, one story like that. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. Yeah, so yeah these are some interesting stuff that's been going on in our going lives. on like i mean this yeah. happened for me okay the dog one is pretty recent but for me this was like two years ago. we've been wanting to talk about it oh yeah Mega, what do you do when you go in a plane like for 18 hours you're flying what oh, do you do oh, what i hope uh, you see honestly okay you honestly right now i'm really missing plane rides for some reason you know the feeling actually you know what i don't miss the 16 hour long plane rides because those can be so painful sometimes but for me like honestly like what i do is like i don't you know i don't know how people watch tv for like 16 hours straight like i can't do that you know like i usually just like uh maybe like watch some tv listen to some music and just like try to sleep but i i never sleep i try to sleep and yeah yeah, for me, it was the same thing, like you said, I cannot sleep in planes. I watch a lot of movies for like maybe four hours, but then after a while, it, my, my eyes hurt. Then yeah. I really have to like try to take a nap, but I couldn't mm-hmm. sleep because I just a- have anxiety, you know? Flying uh, anxiety. Uh-huh, uh-huh. I don't mm-hmm. know what it is, but um, um, flying anxiety. It's not, I'm not scared to fly. I'm fine, mm-hmm. but it's just, uh, you know, I'm just like, oh my God, what is this plane crash? You know, those thoughts you have yeah. when you're yeah, in yeah, yeah. And we had this one flight where it was just so, it was like, uh, Turk, uh, yeah, we it was like Turkish Airlines, mm-hmm. and we had this one flight. It was just so bad. Like, okay, what I mean bad. Okay, the experience was great. The only thing <laughs> is the, the travel route they took, the yeah. route they took was so so bumpy. It was such a bumpy ride, and it was uh... so much turbulence as well. It was so much turbulence, and literally, I'm telling you, I was literally, I literally thought I was gonna die, and I literally was praying. Oh my like god! And then my dad, we were all so scared. My mom was literally just sleeping, like <laughs> freaking, like she wasn't even scared. My dad and I were like the complete same. We always shared the same jeans, and yeah. she literally like, he was so like scared. I was scared. My sister was just like. Hey, what up? She's like, bro, like, what is wrong? And my mom's literally sleeping, like, the whole plane ride. She's doing this thing. And it's distracting because, like, I had, like, a, I had, like, a, I had, like, a glass, right? Yeah. And yeah. it was literally, like, shaking when I'm drinking uh-huh. the water. It was, like, yeah. shaking back, like, really, yeah, yeah. really bumpy ride. And that, we literally had to, you know, struggle with that for, like, 30 minutes at least. I'm telling you, maybe an hour, but 30 minutes. And someone screamed, too. And that would give really? me more anxiety. Yeah, it was that bad. It wasn't, like, a normal turbulence. If it was a normal turbulence, who would scream? But this was so, so bad. It was literally, like, really hard. There's a word for it. It's, like, really, really rocky. I yeah. would say rocky. So it was just so scary. Because apparently, like, the weather was also bad, too, during the uh, route. It was, like, so they had, like, some, the place had some thunderstorms or some, or some storm. And so because of that, the clouds and the wind all together was just bumpy. But again, I, I'm alive. So <laughs> thank you for that. Yeah. Oh my God. That's so scary though. That's like the worst thing ever. Honestly, yeah, in, just that just, in that situation, I would get scared too. And like it'd be opposite. Like my dad would be the calm one. And then me and my sister would also be, the my calm. sister gets scared so easily. And she would just start uh, <laughs> uh, panicking too. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But yeah, those are just some funny stories that we just wanted to share on our podcast since we didn't really, uh, we didn't really have our um, uh, real time, uh, the motivation moment with Megan and Marcia. Mm-hmm. We'll try to bring it up next to, uh, next time. Um, no one really said any feedback, so that's why we were like, you know what, well, let's just do our way. Yeah. Things like yeah. That. So, yeah. Okay, yeah. Uh, to end this episode, we decided to do a BuzzFeed quiz. BuzzFeed quiz, yes, like we do on all our episodes. Yeah. And yeah, make course. sure to leave in the comments what did you guys think of this episode, or maybe DM us even. We always we're always open on our DMs. Yes. Okay. And uh, this BuzzFeed quiz is called "Everyone's Personality Fits an Adorable Disney Sidekick." Which one fits yours? Ooh, okay, so we gotta just find out who our Disney sidekick is. Okay. Uh, the first question is, what is your favorite season? Winter, spring, summer, or fall? Summer, What's my it? favorite is summer. Summer, hmm. The thing is that, okay, I really like the temperature of fall, but I like summer because there's no school. Same, same. Yeah, but I like summer though. 
Huh. Okay. It's hot. I get to wear nice outfits like um like dresses, so mm. I like wearing dresses. I'm more of a hoodie person, so I'm going for fall. Hoodie? I like the, nice. Yeah. I'm a, I like the weather. Okay. Uh second question. What do you do in your free time? Play video games, watch TV, bake, hang out with friends. Hang out with friends. Um I like watching TV. I I haven't tried baking yet, but I think maybe you bake, right? Yeah, I do bake, but I think I like hanging out with friends more. So I'm gonna Same. It's been a while since it's also been COVID. I'm not really seeing yeah. my friends as much. But yeah. Mm-hmm. Okay, the next question is choose a color. Ooh. White, blue, red, yellow. I like blue. I don't have a favorite color, so I am just going to choose I'm going to choose red. Cuz right now red. it's a- red was it's- my favorite color. Now it's blue. But I like yeah. both. It's good. It's nice. Uh choose a dessert. Oh, we actually answered this question uh one of our listeners had, right? A favorite dessert. Yes. Um well the options here is ice cream, donuts, cake or brownies. I like all of them. I can't. Oh my god, one. this is so hard. And oh my the pictures, bro, looks, looks so appetizing. Delicious. Appetizing. Oh my god, exactly. it looks so delicious. What do you Okay, which one do you think looks most delicious in these pictures? The donuts look. <laughs> oh yeah, the donuts look so good. Okay, yeah, but the cake looks don- nice to donuts same. Oh, yeah, but I, I like just, the ah, cake too. But the brownies, bro, brownies, double uh, fudge brownies. It looks it's double fudge is good, but it doesn't oh. look like it doesn't look like. Oh, I'm gonna eat it in one take because I need more sprinkles. Uh, so I would say okay, donuts. Okay. Donuts. Okay, yes, I'm going to choose donuts too. It looks because the thing is, the pictures for brownies, ice cream, and cake looks the same because it's just chocolate, no sprinkles. Ah, so. true, true, true. Okay, so uh, the next question is. Uh, choose a sport: karate, tennis, soccer, or basketball. Uh, I actually okay. tennis, right? You play tennis. Yeah, I actually play tennis, so I'm going to choose. Yeah, tennis. I used to play badminton. Um, this was like a few years ago. Now I lost complete touch of it because of COVID. <laughs> you know, can't go outside. Yeah. But um, yeah, I I did karate for again for a year or two. Orange belt. <laughs> oh, nice. I stopped. I stopped after that though. I so. actually uh in elementary uh, our school had this called I called Aikido. It's a martial arts too. Martial and arts. And I got yeah, I got up to a purple belt or something in Aikido. Nice, nice. <laughs> I don't know anything anymore though. <laughs> anymore same, same, same. Yeah. Same. same. Um yeah, so I would say I mean it's a hard sport because you know, I haven't tried tennis. I'm just going to say basketball cuz I always do that at PE in school mm-hmm. all the time. I'm really <laughs> Like I got I have an I'm a, I'm not going to brag but I'm like I'm getting better. I got good <laughs> at it. <laughs> okay, the next question is choose a nature photo. Um so okay, okay so it's kind of hard to describe but there are four images. So the first image is like a picture of the purple sky. The second image is just water like a close up picture of the ocean. So, yeah. The third picture is like woods um and then the third pic of oh, the fourth picture is like mountains a, and it's like like cloudy. a black and white yeah, black and white yeah. picture of a mountain. Mm, I the prettiest to me is the forest. Forest the same. Yeah. That's the I also one. like the snowy mountains because I want to find out what's happening there. It's like dark. It's like Ooh, you find something yeah, mysterious. Dark. Yes. Mysterious. Okay. The purple is also aesthetic the sky. Yeah, it is. Oh, these are so good. <laughs> I know. Okay. You know what? I'll just pick the dude. Honestly, I don't have a but I just want I'm just going to pick something because this is so hard yeah. to choose. Just choose anything, bro. What what which one like connects you? Which picture connects to you and your so the picture connects you? Which picture connects you? Wait, which actually the woods. <laughs> yeah, 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 you got it right. Woods. Oh, okay. I would say woods too. Okay. Um okay, finally choose a random Disney character. Hero, Ooh. Elsa, Maui, Maui, Milan, Vanellope, Vanellope, Ian. Flame Rider, Rider, Ariel. And Ariel. This is so many options. Oh, yeah, this is way too many options, bro. Um, mm, this is a hard one because I like all of them. Yeah. <laughs> Flame Rider, maybe. He's funny. Yeah. Hero, I like Hero. Uh, Elsa. Elsa, cool. Frozen, pretty good. Mm. You know what? I'm gonna go with Elsa because I would love to have ice powers. Everyone else does not have powers. That's true. That's so true. And she's really nice because I can meet Anna. I can meet our castle. It's really interesting. Yeah. I love the whole theme. I'm gonna choose Elsa for now. You know what? I'm gonna choose Hero because I want to meet. Um, I want to meet 
Hero's brother. Yes. Hero's yeah. brother and Hero's brother and what's his name? The the dude the Baymax? the yeah and um yeah I want to meet Baymax too so I'm going to choose Hero. Hero. Okay, the results. Or should you want to go? Wait, one sec, one sec. Uh, I'm still thinking about what to pick. Oh, okay. I thought you were going to pick Elsa. <laughs> I know, and I'm just looking at the others just to reconsider. Yeah, you know what? I'll choose Elsa. Okay. Okay. Okay, what was your results? Mine is Mushu, actually. The... Ooh. It, yeah, it says you, you, you're most like Mushu. You're confident, funny, and never give up on a challenge. You're a great friend and encourage others to be their best. Huh. That's nice, actually. That's so true. That's Mine true, except the confident Olaf. part. Oh! <laughs> it but says, the, you're most likely Olaf. You're kind, optimistic, and caring. You care deeply about the ones you love and appreciate the little things in life. That's true. Oh, that's so true. Yeah, it looks like it's accurate, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I don't know. Yeah, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah so that kind of concludes our episode i hope you guys enjoyed and yeah i'm so excited for the summer yeah. i'm so excited we'll be active on all the socials summer will be full active and we'll start posting on our socials um and yeah so by the time this episode comes out um yeah this will be the last episode oh yeah we forgot to tell you guys that we both got the vaccine Oh yes. But yeah, that. I hope everyone is doing well and good. I know in India, everyone's having such a tough time. Um, uh, we'll keep you in our prayers. And again, uh, we'll put our link in our description below for any donations. You guys can make any donations to India and um, you know help them get the supplies they need. And yeah, yeah we hope so, for the best. Yeah, so please, you know, uh, yeah, if you can't donate, do donate because you know, India does need our help. And I hope like everyone, you know, continue with wearing masks and, you know, get vaccinated. I think that's... Get like vaccinated. It's very important for you to get vaccinated. Again, coronavirus is not a myth because as you see in India, if you please look, read the news, it's everywhere on Instagram. Honestly, you can get educated, even buy it from our podcast, from the link down in the description. So please read and please educate yourselves on this issue. So please, please help and please wear masks and, uh, re- um, you know, keep distance. Even if you got... I know, but uh, I think... Our president said that uh, in the news that if you get the first dose or not first dose, you can still with, uh, wear without a mask. I mean, we both are still going to wear a mask no matter what. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, for sure. Because like, I know our president said honestly, that, but we're still going to wear uh, one. Yeah, CDC said that, but honestly, I feel more comfortable wearing a mask. Wearing my mask, yeah, because I just don't um, want to get germs and just, yeah. just precautions. You, know, you just never know. Yeah. And yeah, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And yeah, I mean, remember, you know, yeah. stay safe and positive. <laughs> you stay safe uh, and positive. Yes. Yeah, as always, thanks for listening to this episode. We hope you guys enjoyed it and stay tuned for more. Subscribe to our YouTube channel for more fun and entertaining episodes. All the episodes have been broadcasted on YouTube, except the one with Nicole that is on, uh, the, on Spotify itself and other platforms wherever you listen to podcasts Mm -hmm. special guests will be aired on youtube like i said other collabs will be on other platforms visit our website megaversion.com and also we'll be updating your website shortly so stay tuned for that um it's gonna be we're gonna be rebranding the whole entire website so yeah so you guys can maybe if you have any questions you want to contact us you want to be a guest on our podcast just fill in the form uh we also have a collab form in the link in our bio so make sure to check that out if you want to be a guest a lot of people have signed up so again we are really booked too in the summer so please 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 fill it in and we will let you know when a slot becomes available mm-hmm. and yeah if you have any questions email us at makeupversion2020 at gmail.com if you have any media or inquiry requests and feedback is always appreciated yeah so thank you for listening to our episodes this has been a great season three i'm so happy uh super duper proud um we will link all the descriptions down below oh we'll include the buzzfeed quiz if you guys actually want to go check that out too check that out so, yes yeah <laughs> yeah really addicting yeah and i'm so happy i can't believe this is the last episode of season three i'm looking forward for more seasons and beyond probably even until next year i don't even know but yeah. we'll try our best making our podcast active and again a lot of people have been asking well, what are we going to do in the future even in Sudeshna's podcast, other podcasts, they all asked us what we know. We haven't really thought about it. 
but as we said like we maybe make a studio do some future plans we'll still keep it updated and we'll always always come with new and fresh episodes when we have the time again high school is such a busy year junior year and yeah we'll just create as much as episodes as possible because we both love podcasts and we're so passionate about it and i'm so glad that we got to gain so much confidence and public speaking skills um we were able to really just have an amazing experience with it. and we've grown, grown so much and i'm so happy that like i think my fam make a euro family everyone's liking it so far i'm so glad that a lot of people are listening to us yeah yeah i'm so glad that I'm so i'm so happy and blessed to you know have this podcast but yeah and i hope you guys enjoyed season 3 check out uh if you haven't already listened to our other episodes please uh check out uh, the other two seasons yep. all up on socials yeah so thank you for listening to our episodes bye Bye guys. Have a great day everyone. It's me Varsha and Mega signing off.